The next thing we're going to do is practice inserting tables and lists. So we've got our paragraph about Emily R, basic introduction. We've got an image of her. We did that in the last video, inserting text and images. And now we're going to create lists in table format that are a little more detailed. Um, and here she has basically, I dislike this. Uh, I like to be on the computer, play soccer. Uh, we're just going to put that in a more easily viewable format in addition to adding a few more uh, pieces of information about Emily R. Okay, uh, notice at the top it says page reverted to revision 6. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a later video. Um, I went ahead and did some other things and then brought it back to this version uh, just so we can move forward with the videos. But if you do create things and then you decide later you want to scratch them, you don't want to use them, uh, you can revert to an earlier version of the same site. Okay, moving on. All right, first thing first, we're going to click Edit Page. And I want to insert kind of a division line right here because we've got like this top section, I'm trying to give it a little bit of formatting. So I'm going to put a line between it and the next section we're going to do. So insert horizontal line. And then I'm going to push enter. OK, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but you can if you do. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a table. So if I come to insert here, a table is not like right jumping out at me. Uh, that's obviously because it's here. So insert table. And I'm going to do two uh, columns and two rows. Rows go across, columns go up and down vertically. So I'm going to click this. And it just gave me these tiny little boxes. And I've got to put all this information into it. That's not a big deal. We can make it work. OK, in my first box, I'm going to put hobbies and interest. And my second one, I'm going to do, click over here, uh, favorites. And down here, I'm going to do dislikes. And over here, we'll just do family and friends. Notice I chose not to do like likes and dislikes. Um, favorites is pretty much the saying a lot of the same things as likes um, and hobbies and interests does as well. It just breaks it down into two more specific categories. OK, so when I click on a cell, you see that I have the option to change the size of the cell. So let's just go ahead and start clicking and dragging. I'm going to drag it all the way, almost all the way, to the furthest right border of the table, I'm sorry, the column that we are working with in our layout. This is column one, obviously, from when we changed the layout to two columns. And I can now come in here, and if I move this one, it'll make it's a little bit more even okay and I'm gonna come in here and I want to center <gasps> okay so I centered my list headings and it look what it did it centered here um, let's just see what happens if I do undo all right notice I'm doing undo and guess what it's not undoing uh, that's okay uh, Google Sites is wonderful it's not perfect however so I'm just gonna re-highlight this and force it to a line left. Not a big deal. OK, now for each one of these headings, I am going to make them, let's see, we'll do bold, underline, a different font, and a different color. So I'm going to go to 12 um, points. I'm going to make it, let's try Georgia. Yeah, that's fine. Underline, and then for color, I'm going to change it to like a, let's see what that does. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Control Z undoes that. Let me try again. Okay, and it's kind of like this pink-ish color that coordinates with up here, and, and that's fine. Um, you can do what you want. Don't forget the contrast is nice. And if I failed to mention it earlier, I'm going to mention it now. If for whatever reason you decide to print your website, which I don't know of many cases when you would want to do that, um, but it is going to not print the background color. And that's OK, because that would waste a lot of ink. But if it's not printing the background color, then it's not going to get this dark color with this light font. It's just going to print light font. So before you print it, maybe change your font to like black. 
and then print it and then go back to what you want it to be. So again, if you have a dark background, when you print, it does not print in the background. So you're going to need to change your font color to something dark because it's going to obviously print on the default paper color, which is white, and you want it to show up. Okay, so favorites, and now I need to do hobbies and interests, highlight, I'll just go down the row here, Georgia, 12, bold, underline, this color, here, does that make that bold? It doesn't look bold, let me try that one again, okay, and dislikes, Georgia, 12, bold, underline, this color, and last but not least, Family and friends. I just want to highlight family and friends, not the whole cell, because I want my list to look a little different underneath it. Georgia, 12, bold, underline, this color. Okay. So now I'm going to create my list. So I've clicked enter, and here I'm going to insert a bulleted list. And the first thing I'm going to type is soccer. Emily Grace loves soccer. Let me try that again. I'm not sure why the bullets aren't showing up. Again, not a perfect program, but let's try. Let's keep going and see what we get. Animals. And then she volunteers. If you have this, you could copy and paste it. I'm not copying and pasting because I'm worried it won't keep the formatting like I want. So I'm just going to type it out. Almost done. She likes going to the beach and playing video games because she is, after all, uh, a student. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this and make it, there we go. And maybe, there we go. All right. So it didn't quite um, want to center the bullets. It'll center the text, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. Under favorites, we're going to start with food because it's all about the food. Notice I need to take this off. It was 10 point, normal, no bold, no underline. Food is mom's spaghetti. Sport. Soccer. Book. She likes the Harry Potter series. Movie up. Okay, so now she's got her favorites in here. I'm going to highlight, click the bulleted list, and we'll go ahead and put those over there like that. And it looks like I might have an extra space. Okay, uh, notice that she likes YouTube. She could watch YouTube for hours and hours, especially funny, funny videos and those specifically related to animals as long as they are not abused or hurt um, because she does like animals. So I'm going to actually go ahead and link this to YouTube with the magic link tool up here. So I'm going to click link and web address and www.youtube.com. And I can choose to open this link in a new window. So if somebody clicks on it, it won't totally like open over top of Emily Grace's digital portfolio. It'll just open uh, another like tab. So I'm going to choose open this link in a new window. All right. Okay, so now I've clicked save and I'm previewing my site and I come down here and I don't really want to see the lines on these boxes. So here's where we're going to get into some customizing your uh, HTML to change that. Okay, so I'm going to click edit page 
and I'm going to click the HTML, edit HTML source up here on the toolbar. And yikes, this looks like a foreign language. Okay. Uh, in some ways it is, in a lot of ways it's not. Um, it's just the coding that makes our website look as good as it does. So I'm trying to find the table property. I see right here it says, my name is Emily R. This is a website to, dedicated to showcasing me and my work. Okay, so I know where that is on the site. So let me scroll down a little bit. There's that big old paragraph about further describing Emily Grace. And then underneath this, haha, table border equals one. Let's change that to zero and click update. All right, it took out the inside lines. Let's keep going with that. I think we can get these outside ones gone too. So I'm going to click HTML again and scroll down even further this time. Okay. And it looks like, okay, so I've got border bottom color, border, border, oh, okay, border top width, one pixel, border right width, one pixel, border bottom width, one pixel, and border left width, one pixel. Let's make these ones zero and see what happens. And voila, I do not have those outside borders, which is what I wanted. That sounds awesome. And now I have a bulleted list, four bulleted lists, in a table format on my website. Click save.